fair with the Ninja News. Well, in the news today, Jude, um, I guess the big news was, as you already have mentioned, uh, David Bowie is dead at age 69. Uh, he was a rock and roll visionary whose career spanned six decades, uh, and he died Sunday after a long battle with cancer. He was 69 years old. Uh, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 96, and mm. his business manager confirmed the death. Rest in peace to Bowie. He was a great part of music. He transcended genres, and mm -hmm. my sister was fucked up about it, like... She was texting me like I'm so sad. Um, not to sound heartless, but like if a rock and roll dude makes it to like damn near seventy, and he's from the seventies, mm -hmm. shit. Like yo, man, he had a good run. Congratulations. And I and like this is the time right now. Like all those greats from the seventies, all those motherfuckers that were just the shit back in the sixties and seventies, we gonna start losing them. They really, we really gonna start losing them. So. Get ready for it. This yeah. is this is just the beginning. And his uh his music is dominating the charts now after his death also. Uh his new re newly released album Black Star briefly hit number 1 on iTunes and Best mm. of Bowie also rocketed into the top 10 of albums on Monday. Yeah. Um yeah, I mean like I think whenever someone passes you 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 like to go back and really take one last look at uh remember when michael jackson died it was mm -hmm. like a year straight of michael jackson songs uh and it's cool because you'd be like damn i forgot about that song oh man that song was the shit so it's gonna be the same with bowie you know i i, I was listening to the young americans album this morning getting ready and it's the shit luther vandross as a matter of fact same background on that just a little interesting tidbit of fucking trivia for y'all cats and i think i'll play something off of that young americans I'll probably just play Young Americans off of Young Americans. Or did we already play <laughs> Young Americans? Yeah, yeah. Probably play some more. All right. Uh, what else? Well, in other news, the Playboy Mansion is hitting the market for $200 million. The 5.3-acre property is located in uh, the affluent Los Angeles neighborhood of Homeby Hills in the Westwood area and will reportedly hit the market for around $200 million by Playboy Enterprises. Um Despite its history, they say the rumored price tag is highly inflated, uh, with comparable homes in the area going for around sixty million. Still, due to its name, the Playboy Mansion could fetch anywhere from eighty to ninety million. Experts say. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck wants that cum covered place to live in. I don't know, but it's funny. Uh, they also report that there are a number of strings with the purchase, one requiring the new owner to give Hugh Hefner a life estate, which means he can continue to live there until he dies. How old is Hugh Hefner? 89. <sighs> with science, he could probably get what? He's probably got 10 years at the most left in him. He's, he was yeah. a pipe smoker. I don't know. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like a club is gonna buy this shit, or it's gonna be like a company is gonna buy this mm -hmm. and turn it into something. Yeah, I remember like getting invited to a Playboy party way back in the day was the shit, and it's just lost its luster over the years. Like you had to be, you had to be like the creme de la creme. You had to be like Paul Newman or some or uh, Steve McQueen, and then it was like Corey Haim started showing up, and then that's when you knew it was bad. Screech from Saved by the but Dustin Diamond to be up in that bitch. Yeah, uh, so the estate boasts 29 rooms, including a wine cellar, a screening room with a built-in pipe organ, a game room, um, tennis, basketball court, a waterfall, and a swimming pool area. There but yeah, we'll is. see what happens. I bet you some Chinese motherfuckers buy it. That is a possibility. They buying, all, they buying up all of L.A. anyway, so... They probably get that shit too, turn it into some. That's what I do. If I was like some Chinese mogul, I'd fucking buy that. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, Hefner, you can, you could, yeah, stay there. Buy that shit and just pimp it out. That's like that's the that's the dream. You just crushed it. Mm -hmm. What else? Well, another news. Uh, I thought this was a, a feel good story. Uh, the Ringling Elephants will retire early. The Ringling br uh, Brothers and Barnum and Belly Circus will retire all eleven of their touring elephants in May, a year and a half before they were planned to leave the productions. 
Uh, it's reported that all of the elephants will be sent to a 100-acre center in Florida for permanent retirement. So are they bringing in new elephants or are they just done with elephants now? I'm not sure. It didn't specify. Because there was, there was like, a, I think SeaWorld's done with the killer whale shit. They had so much blowback after after that documentary, documentary dropped. Oh, yeah, I did hear about that. Hopefully they that are shit done was with sad. them, though. Man, it's fucked up. Yeah, it's like just zoos and shit just be fucked up, man. You like, like cats call themselves animal lovers and then just support fucking like animal slavery. You go see a fucking, you ever see a lion at the zoo? They look pathetic as fuck, man. Like, they just look sad as shit. They, just, they, they don't usually never have a lot of room. They just sit there. They got some fucking fat-ass Midwesterner fucking eating an ice cream cone, taunting it. Like Yeah, it's a sad life. It's pathetic. Yeah, my old man, he's like weighing the Wolverines, and he finally... You know he got he went to he went to the uh, to the zoo to go see wolverines because wolverines mm-hmm. are bad as shit. They'll fucking they'll fist fight a bear. They don't give a fuck. And then he went and saw the wolverine and it was just de- depressed and you know, on some dirt, just like in a dirt pile. <laughs> <He was, laughs> my dad got sad and went home. Was like this is some bullshit. It is. It's depressing. The it, it is it's fucked up keeping them animals. I like I think it's worse. I think it's worse. I think honestly, I think it's worse to keep them like that than the trophy hunt them. Like mm-hmm. at least they was like animals out in the fucking wilderness, being animals, fucking up llamas and shit, and then they get shot in the head. It's a wrap. This way, they they just they got them and and they just hold them hostage for about fucking twenty five years. Mm-hmm. Don't they tell them when they can fuck, when they can't fuck, ch- chop their nuts, feed them bullshit. Damn shit, yeah. All right, good. I hope them. I hope the fucking elephants. I hope they don't bring them elephants back. Cause elephants are smart as hell. They remember where the people died and stuff. Like a motherfucker will die, they'll go back and see it next year. That's why they say elephants have long memories. I just made that up, <laughs> but I think I'm right. Is and, there anything else, or did, and, uh, or did we just gonna depress people with? <laughs> Dead Bowies and fucking animal slaves. <laughs> and last in the news, speaking of retirement, uh, Lupe, Lupe Fiasco reveals plans to retire following the release of his last album titled Roy. He tweeted the announcement out. Okay. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book. Too Short, who listens to this show, I think he retired about three times. Mm-hmm. Musicians don't retire, they just go away. That's it. You just go away. I'm going to retire. Give me a break. And that's the thing, man. Like, uh, when I was writing my book, I was like, that's it. This is the last book I do. When I'm done with Hyena, I'm done forever. Mm -hmm. But if you're an artist, you create. You can't help that shit. You're going to stay creating. So anytime someone's like, I retire from music, which is usually some rapper shit. You don't never hear no rock motherfucker talk about I retire from music. And they can actually play an instrument. You know what I mean? It's... It's always some rapper, and it's like, I retire from music. They're never like, you know what, six months after their album dropped, like, you know what, I'm done. It's always it's always they retiring right when their album's about to drop to push sales. Mm-hmm. Does that shit even work anymore? Like, no, does it work? It must, because I keep doing Maybe. it. Maybe. Yeah, it must. Well, Lupe, he, you a conscious dude, and... We hate to see you leave the rap game. We we need more smart rappers like yourself. I'll sh- I'm sure you'll be back a year after this album's out. Mark my words. All right, is that it? That was it for the news today, Jude. Bam.